Okay. <laughs> Guys, first of all, hi. So today's video is going to be a following a Bob Ross tutorial. That's why we've got this here. I've already had an entire bon vivo, my second bon vivo, but I don't know what happened. Um, my stomach started hurting and then it stopped hurting and then as soon as it stopped hurting, I got this like weird pain. It's like my stomach pain traveled to the back, to my back and I have like this pain and I feel it. I feel, it's that on my lip. Oh my God, it's my crusty ass lip. I need a chapstick. Oh, you know what? This Fenty Beauty lip will do. Oh my God, that new Fenty Beauty lipstick, like the new sheeny, creamy lipstick, they literally taste exactly like um, sprinkles. Like not like the traditional like tube sprinkles. I'm talking about the sprinkles that are round and flat and like pastel -y colors. Wow, best lip product I've ever smelled. Okay, what was I saying? Okay, yeah. The pain has traveled to like my backside here and it's like in the form of a line. I feel the pain, oh, I feel the pain like in a line. I know that doesn't make sense, but I swear. So that's one. I have two options here. Can you see them? So Bon Vive is my favorite. I just had a black cherry one. Best flavor to date, amazing. But I have this option here. I also like Truly from time to time. I have this option, it's passion fruit. So I'm either gonna do a Truly passion fruit or a Bon Vive cranberry, which is my second favorite, but I don't know if I'm gonna like this passion fruit. And if I'm not gonna like it, Danny's gonna like it while I drink the other one. No, I don't like that. I don't enjoy that, no. Okay, the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, I'm filming on my bad side here. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but uh, one of my biggest insecurities is this side of my face. That's why you never, ever see me take a photo on this side. I'm either straight on or I'm like this because there's a huge difference. I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna show you a side by side. This is me on this side, my good side, and that over there is my bad side. And you can see, very clear difference. Are you as shocked as I was when I first noticed? It's a big one. It's a big one. So, what I was getting at is, normally I would have the canvas on this side so that you guys got my good side uh, the entire video. However, I'm left-handed. So, I gotta paint like this. So, you're gonna get this. The crimson chin side, which is fine. This is who I am. I haven't eaten anything today, and I had a bomb beep. That's not healthy, that's not good, that's not normal. Okay, so for today's video, I am going to attempt to recreate a Bob Ross painting. If you guys don't know who Bob Ross is, you need to look him up. He was such a kind, sweet, gentle soul. I swear, when you would watch his uh, painting tutorials, you would just feel so relaxed. There's something so calming about his voice. The opposite of my voice. And he was just really popular and really amazing, and he was a great, great, great painter. So we are gonna to do a Bob Ross painting. I even bought Bob Ross paint. So I have my little setup here and I looked for a painting on YouTube and I decided to go with a hint of springtime. So if you were hoping you were gonna watch a serious makeup video, it's the wrong day here, folks. We're gonna paint. And now should be a great time to tell you that I am an awful painter. I can't imagine what this is gonna look like at the end. Even following a tutorial, I know. It's gonna look bad. I just wanted to do a really chill, relaxed type of video today. I have been so down in the dumps, guys. I've been very sad. It's not funny, but with everything going on in the world, there's just, there's a lot. And I just wanted to do a calm video where I can just relax for a little bit. Honestly, I'm mainly doing this for me because I haven't had the time recently to take like some time for myself because I've been working so hard on like lacquer and label and also all the like influencery side of my life. I haven't had a chance to sit down and take some time to just relax. And I thought this would be the perfect way to do two things. I, it's kind of like work, but I'm relaxing with my friends. So it's kind of like not work. So it's great. And I'm filming this on a Friday, so I'm very excited. I'm in a good mood. Let's paint. Grab your drink of choice and let's chat about life and paint some shit. I realized that the tutorial that I looked up, he uses a two inch brush. I only have a one inch brush. So already we are off to a terrible start. The painting is probably not gonna look the same, but you know, what can you do? It's not gonna be a Kathleen video unless there's at least one mess up. Let's start out today and run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, come on up here. Let me show you what we've got already. Oh no, I don't have that type of green. I only have sap green. Um, wait a second. I don't have any of these shades. I don't even have black. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Wow, what a roller coaster I just went on, folks. So, since I'm an idiot and I only bought this little set, I am very limited to what we can paint today. I just spent the last 30 minutes 
looking for a painting that I could paint that has these colors and I couldn't find it. But I found something. We're gonna mix colors and we're gonna make the magic happen regardless of what we're missing. So I decided to go with Winter's Grace. That one actually has fallow blue. I have two shades that the painting requires. I'm just missing the dark, dark blue and the deep black, I think. But I'm gonna mix blue and crimson and I'm gonna get dark purple. And so we're good. So I know you're supposed to add an entire layer of liquid white to the canvas first because that's what's gonna help you blend all the colors together and it's what helps everything flow. So I'm just gonna paint this canvas with this liquid white. Ooh, a nice little playlist right now would be killer, but you know, I can't copyright issues. Man, I wish I was like a, a painter. This is like such a relaxing thing, right? Have you guys ever gone to painting with a twist? Oh man. All right, paint a mess up. I love painting with a twist, it's so much fun. It's, it's literally what I'm doing right now. Someone would be at the front of the class and you're just following along while you drink and paint. It's very fun. This is the comfiest shirt I've ever worn. It's literally a dress. It's like a giant pink Floyd shirt. You guys know my obsession with pink Floyd shirts. And I love this one. I got it at Urban Outfitters. Oh, by the way, <laughs> if you see me do this throughout this video, I actually have this annoying habit where I chew on my lip and it's like this side all the time whenever I'm concentrating. Danny's always like, you're doing it again. And I don't even notice that I do it. Notice how I'm trying to talk to you guys like this. Oh no, all my weird things are being pointed out today. Okay, so we got a nice layer of liquid white and now I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna use a very limited palette today. By that, that Me too. honest being it's just very few colors to do this, mostly just blue, black, and white. Blue, black, and white. And then, We're doing Blue, red, and white. <laughs> Let's just take a little bit of this thalo blue and we'll just start in like this, making little, little X's, little crisscross. But I'm gonna start and work outward so it gets larger. About like that. I like thalo blue. It's a very warm blue. Probably has a little green in it. I definitely got too much. He said grab very little and I didn't listen to him. I didn't listen to him. Now, we have a little blue circle up here in the sky. Let's take without even cleaning the brush, and I'm gonna go into Prussian blue. Um, was I supposed to do a very thick layer of the white underneath? Cause his seems like so watercolory. Mine is not. So I'm mixing red and blue together because he's about to go in with that dark blue. And I don't have that. Blue is many, many times stronger. It's a very dark, strong, rich blue. Just load a little color in it. And we'll go right up in here, still using a little crisscross strokes. And then I'll just bring it right down into the phthalo blue. Just let them sort of blend together. The paint goes on very easily because we have the liquid white on here. We're working on a dry canvas. You'd probably be in Agony City by now. Probably be upset with me. And we want this to work for you. I really want it to work for me too, Bobby. I really want it to work for me too. My arm hurts. <laughs> Bob Ross must have had some strong ass arms. See what we did there? We created dark blue colors. Bitch. No! Oh no, I have paint all over my floor. It's okay. Clean it with my sock. Can you tell I have a zero Virgo in my birth chart? <laughs> Not one. We're gonna take some Prussian blue and some black. Each layer, as we go away from the lightest area, is getting darker and darker. Darker and darker. Colors, bitch. All right, well. We got some work to do, folks. It's gotta go from dark blue to light blue, and we only got one kind of blue, but it's okay, because we have white. We're gonna make this, we're gonna make this spicy right here. Now, you're gonna start to notice that my blue is gonna look a little purple, but uh, you know what? We're going for a blurple. We're going for a blurple winter scene. A blurple winter. Oh yeah, this would be such a pretty nail polish color. <gasps> I'm actually gonna mix that blue with some white. Oops. Shh. Gone. Oh. Okay, I don't know what I did. I made it worse, but this is what we got. It's not a gradual fade, but it, if you squint. There we go. Shake off the excess. Oh. Time to clean the brush. Now decide where your light source is. And in my painting, I think it's gonna be right here. In your world, you may want it somewhere else. But take that one corner, that one corner that has the paint on it, and start around, going around. But if you get your brush contaminated with blue, 
I would suggest that you clean your brush before you go back into the white. Yeah. How does he get an even blend on the edges? Now then we can just blend the rest of the canvas together. Just blend it till you can't tell where one color stops and the next color starts. It can be very smooth. I'm already gonna tell you this isn't gonna look anything like his painting, but you know. And that's about all I'm gonna do for that little sky. All right, we got the sky. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and some white and mix it together. I wanna make a light blue. Clean off the old knife. We just wiped the knife on a paper towel. Hands wiped on the pants. <laughs> there you go. It's my I'll kind take of guy. A fan brush. Put a little bit on the bristles. I don't need a lot of paint, but it's very light. But just sort of test it. Oh, that's good there. Now maybe back in here there's a little hill. I want this almost the color of the sky. So you really have to you have to sort of study to even find it. This is going to end up being just the indication of little hills that live far away, way back in the distance. Now we can take a two-inch brush. Grab that and just gently pull it, very gently. Brush is too slow. Let's get the old two-inch brush here. No, nah, damn it. Getting paint all over my hair. Each one of these little foothills that we put in here, I want them to get a little, little darker. Foothills, little, little mountains, whatever. All the way up and maybe it goes over here. I don't know. It's up to you. You make these big decisions where all these little things live in your world. And I'm going to take and lift upward. Just lift it straight up so it looks like little trees that live far, far away, way back in the distance somewhere. We don't know where they are. This is a very simple little painting. You should have no problem with it. If you're just beginning to learn this technique, this is one that you can do. It's yeah, I have no problem with it. It looks the same as yours, Bob. I feel like this looks like a mountain. These look like waves. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Maybe if I stand up. I'm messing it up even more. <laughs> I call this a winter's ocean. These are some killer freaking waves. You thought I was doing winter. I'm doing the ocean. Let's take us a fan brush, a little bit of titanium white. We said this was winter, so we'll put a little snow in there. Just load some white right on the brush. Maybe there's a little bit of snow laying back in here. We want this to indicate that it just sort of climbs right up the side of the mountain there. How come his white stays so beautifully white and mine turns blue immediately when I start blending this out? Do I need to load up more white? Is that what it is? But just sort of pay attention to the angles and how they how they flow in your world. See all that blue color is under there? It doesn't matter. It now comes out to be beautiful shadows. It's one of those happy accidents. It looks like you could take your dog sled and, and just travel wee back in there. Let's go back to our little fan brush that had the blue on it. I'm gonna take some white and some blue, since that's all I have is white and blue, Same. basically. I'll we'll throw a little black in it too. Oh. This painting is really more of an exercise in values. The intensity of the color. Let me I agree. wipe off the knife. Okay, we'll just check out your bravery. Oh. Right in front of this mountain. Maybe there lives oh, maybe shit. a little stand of trees or a little grouping of trees. There. We'll just let them wander down the side. We don't know where they go. Don't know that we even care. Doesn't matter. We'll figure that out next. Right now, we just want to drop some in. There. See, maybe we just go on down here and just let them sort of disappear into teeny little trees. Now, take a two inch brush. I'm going to tap that just a little. I want the base of these trees to be a little softer than the top. So, all I'm going to do is just tap and then lift upward like that. We go back, smooth our snow out. See how easy that is? And we're back in business. And back to my little fan brush. We'll have some snow going right up in here. Just sort of let it creep right up to the base of these trees. So it looks like there's a little incline there, a little hill. Back to the fan brush, it has the tree color on it and make it look like little, little grassy areas back in there. Here and there, and there and here, wherever you want them. All right, maybe in our world, get the small knife. I'll just use some of that same blue color that we were using. Might be a little river or something back in here. Just take very gently. What? It's far Now, need something right here. So we'll just drop in. Maybe there's another little stand of trees far back here. 
lift up, I'm lifting these a little higher than I lifted the ones above it because to my mind, they're a little closer to me. Let me grab another fan brush. I have several going here, so I don't have to I spend have all one. my time. <laughs> you know, when you're painting, a lot of times it pays in each brush to have two of each, so you can have one for dark color and one for light. It's good advice, Bob. Saves you from having to wash the brush continually. Tell me about just it. The corner of the brush here, just the corner, and begin working down. I think we'll pop in a little, a little evergreen tree that lives right here, right there. Got to cover up that little area, so we'll just drop him in. And you know me, I think everybody deserves a friend. Gotta have a friend there. Oh, Bob. It's one thing painting has brought me that I never suspected when I first started is a multitude of the most wonderful friends in the entire world. I've met people all over the country. Some of them have turned out to be lifelong friends. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of thalo blue, a little white, and let's just use that to indicate a, some highlights. I don't want too many. I don't want too many. Maybe you want them brighter. Maybe you want to leave them darker. Back to my little fan brush that has the white on it. And maybe, shoot, right there, be brave. Shoot. We'll just drop right in there. You could really put this snow in with a two inch brush. It'd go in just as well. I just thought today we'd use the old fan brush. Doesn't matter. The only rule that I respect in painting is that painting make you happy and that you enjoy what you're doing. Up to you. Anyway, what you is Bob Ross's sign? To your I'm getting like water vibes from him. <laughs> October 29th. The freaking Scorpio. I knew he was water. He gives me such calm water vibes. I know what we need. Hmm. What do we need? If you've painted with me before, you know what's coming. Bob's got to have his big tree in here. I like big trees. This is a big tree, Bob. I lived in Alaska for a long time and everything's bigger. Same color, same blues, but this time darker. Has very little white in it. You ready? Uh, no. Okay, here's your bravery test. Bravery test. Right in the center. That bothers the eye. Put it to one side or the other a little bit. I've chosen to go a little bit to the left side. But in your world, you may want to go to the right or wherever. Just, I'd recommend not putting it dead in the center. I don't have a blue that dark. <laughs> How's so, an invisible tree looking like Bob? I ruined it. Possibly can. I just ruined it. Not implying it was good before, but I made it worse. Let's just come in here and drop in a few happy little highlights. Maybe there's some little bushy things that live right in there, come out. No, I'm, I'm not doing any bushy things. Wherever. I think we got a finished painting. Guys, we have a uh, finished painting. So this is my version of Winter's Grace. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna do better. <laughs> this is awful. I was doomed from the start because I didn't have the paint. This is as good as it was gonna get. Although my technique has nothing to do with the paint and it sucks, so. I need to sign mine. <laughs> I'll sign it with the ass of this. Let's do it right here. Looking at my painting next to Bob's, um, his is a little bit more put together, a little more neat, but you know, he is a professional, so. Mine is not so bad for an amateur, you know? That looks the same to me. It's pretty good, but. Anyway guys, it's time to end this video. It definitely was a nice little relaxing time even though I was stressing out because I was sucking. It was a really fun two hours. That's how long it's taken me to do this. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for spending time with me and hanging out with me today. And if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos, let me know, leave me requests in the comments below. What else do you wanna see from me? But that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.